Today's video is the one you'll want to save for future emergencies. I'm going to show you how to tweak a few things in Krita to make your experience more enjoyable. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video has been created to answer a few questions that keep popping up in the comments over the past few months, so let's get started. We'll start with the canvas border color. It is the colored area that appears around your canvas. Right now, as you can see, mine is light gray. To change this color, go to settings, select configure Krita. On the left side of the panel, you will see a few options. Click on the display button. Now click on the canvas decorations tab. Here you'll find the canvas border color setting. Click on this little window. It will open a new panel. Now you have a few options. You can change the canvas border color using the color wheel. You can use any of these available swatches. You can even use a color picker. Finally, if you know the code for a specific color, you can type it directly into the input box. For this demonstration, I'll choose a contrasting color so you can clearly see the difference once it's applied. Now take a look at the bottom left corner of the panel. You'll see a preview of a new color we've chose, right next to the original light gray. Click OK twice to apply the changes, and voila! Your canvas border color has been updated. Not everyone can read the font size set by default in Krita. For some of you it's too small, while others just don't like it at all. The good news is that you can customize both the font and its size to better suit your preferences. So let's do that. Uh, let's go to Settings. Choose a Configure Krita. This time, click on the General option. Click on the tab Window. Move down to the section called Use Custom Interface Font. First, check the box to activate the functionality. And using the drop-down menu, choose a new font and next, select a size that will work best for you. Click OK to apply the changes. And there you have it from now on. All the text in Krita's interface will use your new font and size. I would advise you to experiment with the different fonts and sizes until you find the perfect fit for your eyes and workflow. This is your toolbar. Most likely, yours is located somewhere else on the interface. I like mine to be on the top of the canvas. To change the size of these icons, just right-click anywhere on the toolbar, maybe right after the last button. A small menu will appear with a different size options. From there, you can choose a new size. Just like before, feel free to try out different sizes, but keep in mind you'll need to right-click on the toolbar each time to get back to that size menu. I was asked if the size of the icons located in the layers docker could be modified. Now, to my knowledge, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, we cannot do so. To everyone who asked me this, I've got a question for you. Does your whole Krita interface look small? If it is the case, you might want to look into adjusting your system's display settings. Maybe you need to change the display resolution. Or maybe you need to increase the scale, especially on high DPI displays. Now, please be careful when adjusting these two, as it will affect also all the other applications on your computer, not just Krita. 
This last part is for those of you who lost a few things while exploring the interface. You told me you were just trying to tweak a few settings and suddenly buttons disappeared. Don't worry, you are not alone. We've all done it. I tried to recreate the most common scenario, as you can see here, the file toolbar, the brushes and stuff toolbar, and finally the status bar at the bottom of the interface are all missing. Let me show you how to recover them all. To bring back the file toolbar and the brushes and stuff toolbar, go to settings. Choose toolbars shown. Check the first box to reactivate the file toolbar. Repeat the process and this time check the last box to reactivate the brushes and stuff toolbar. To bring back the status bar, go to view and check the box to right next to show status bar. And voila, everything should be back where it belongs. As mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, consider saving this video so you can easily come back to it whenever you need a quick reminder. We're done for today. Thank you for watching and happy creating.